you how to quickly break down the Skymax paramotor. Super simple and you can fully break this down so you can transport it in the back of your car. No dust, no damage to it. So first all we're going to do is going to pull off your uh, prop bolts. Alright, so now we're just taking the last prop bolt out. Alright, and at the same time that it comes out, it can stay there because it's on a little hob. We'll just wriggle it. It's on that little prop. I'm just going to put that over here for the moment. So put our little bits and bobs straight in that bag. And as soon as we've done that, we're going to put this straight in the side pocket. So when we go set up next time, it's always there. We haven't lost it, it's always part of the paramotor. Awesome. Let me just go grab the bag. Way nice and safe. Let's have a look at your cage. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the tension off your netting. So we're just going to simply pull that down and we're going to take the netting off. And as we take the netting off to stop the uh, uh, net tensioner falling back through, we're just going to clip it straight back on itself. Okay, so therefore it can't pull through. It's, it's there, it's locked on. While we're on this side, we're just going to flick those off. We're going to come to this other side here. We're going to flick these off. And this last one here, again, stop the net tension of rolling through. We're just simply going to put it through, okay? Therefore, it's safe. We're now going to come over to this side here. Yeah. A little bit tight when they're new. Take the tension off. This is a really important thing. As I'm pulling this off, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the sock, I'm going to slide it towards the joint, and once I've slid it to the joint, I'm now going to grab onto the hole and going to pull back. It's given us now enough room to remove the actual strut. Go around, pull off, I'm sliding the sock down, I'm lifting the sock up to give us room, bring it around, and that's that done. We'll just put that over there. We'll take this bottom piece out to now. Rotate that forward, down, 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 down. We'll unloosen this. And that, one last thing we gotta do is just from, take the stand for the pull startup. And we're just gonna pull this pin out. And that reduces down. So now we're good to put this in our bag. So we go grab our bag. Now this is another really important tip. You always put your harness against your harness, okay? Therefore you know which side to lay it down in your, in your car. You never want to lay it down on your, on your actual side that your uh, engine is because obviously the bearings are not designed to have bumps in that going that way. You can lay it down very easily in this side. So to do this, as you can see it's a new bag, it's quite tight. It doesn't open like that very easily. So when you're doing it by yourself, how I find to do it is I actually lean it forward, drop the seat in. Okay, if you want to come back around this side here, you see how the rear of the frame is not sitting in there. What I've done is I've lent it forward and I simply just pull. And now, just pull straight into the bag. Very simple. And what we'll do is we'll start zipping it up a little bit. Just a little bit. So again, a new bag, the zips. Are tight and the bags tight see how I'm trying to pull them so they're all nice and tight together both at the top here so then you can zip that up all right otherwise it's a real pain in the bum so I'm pulling it together I'm holding it up here so there's tight tension I'm zipping it all right once we're here what we're gonna do is gonna put the props down to one side of the engine just like that and then sit on the side a little bit I'm gonna lay these just in front of the seat board. Just like that, so it's just laying in front of the seat board. Secure. Zip it up. And now, that's 100% fine to lay down in the car like that. Easy.